right, so in this problem, we're given four points. Let's call them A, B, C, and D. And we're asked to find the equation of the plane that contains these points. So I plotted them on this little graph here, and you can see that they're sort of linear, but that doesn't really matter because that won't really help us in this problem. Um, first, we need to determine what makes up a plane. What makes up the equation of a plane? I know that a plane equation has a point, and it has a normal vector. And what I mean by normal vector is if we have a plane like this, our normal vector would be pointing perpendicular out of the plane. That's what determines what a plane is. That's how we uh, write a plane equation. So, the way that we can find a normal vector is by making two vectors out of these points and then crossing them. And the reason that works is, if you can see this picture here, these two vectors are contained within the plane, right? And when we cross something, we find a vector that is perpendicular to both of those vectors. And since those two vectors are contained within it, this would also be perpendicular to the entire plane. So, and you'll also notice that if you, it doesn't matter what order you cross these two vectors in, right? If you have a vector that's pointing down, it's still going to be normal to that vector. That's why the equation of the plane doesn't really discriminate. It also doesn't matter which of these points you subtract to make that vector, because as long as those vectors are made up of these points, and they're contained within the plane, then you're going to get a normal vector to the entire plane. So now let's make two vectors out of these four points. And the way I just normally do these is just b minus a, d minus c, and you would write that as a, b. So uh, this second letter is what you're subtracting from the first vector. So it would be you'd subtract each individual component, 1 minus 0, 2 minus 0, 3 minus 1. We end up with 1, 2, 2, and then C, D. B, 4 minus 2, 8 minus 4, 11 minus 5, which is 2, 4, 6. Who do we appreciate math? Just kidding. All right, now cross product. So the way I do cross products is I set up a little matrix, I, J, and K, and then it doesn't matter which one you put here, which vector you put here, which vector you put here, so I'm just going to... And then what I do is I just cover up whatever vector we're solving for and then, you know, cross multiply. Um, so 2 times 6 is 12, and then minus 8 i minus cover up j 1 times 6 6 minus 4 j plus notice this alternating sign too it can be a little bit <coughs> tricky until you can mess up cover up k 4 minus 4 k so we have 4 um that would be minus 2 and 0 is our normal vector awesome so now that we have the normal vector, we can pick any points uh, that we've been provided because all those points are in the plane and it doesn't matter. And now the equation of the plane, it can be written as the normal vector times the just general position vector minus whatever point we have. And we set that equal to zero. So uh, we can substitute this for our normal vector. So 4, negative 2, 0, times our position, our general position vector is x, y, and z. And if we're picking any point, I would just go for the easiest point, which is a. So minus 0, 0, 1. And then we just distribute. So 4 times x minus 0, uh, minus 2 times y minus 0, plus 0 times z minus 1. So this just goes away. Since both of these numbers are 0, they just go away, so we end up with 4x minus 2y equals 0. And then if we wanted to, we could divide by 2 to get 2x minus y equals 0. And that is the equation of the plane containing these points. So with this 
problem, there's a couple things that you have to know in order to solve it. First is that uh, you can make vectors out of these points by just subtracting them. The second is what makes up a plane, and that's a point and a normal vector, which we had to solve for using cross product. So um, recognizing that two vectors crossed makes a perpendicular vector to both of them. And recognizing that um, the two vectors that we make from these four points are a part of the plane, and the uh, vector that we create by crossing those two vectors will be normal to that plane as well. And then just recognizing how you fit those pieces together to make the plane equation.